Today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite recipes, it's chicken marsala. Not only is it a super flavorful dish, but it's very easy to do. And the best part is it only requires one pot. Right here I have four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So you want to make sure that your chicken um, is an even thickness. So we have a thick part up here and we have a thin part down here. What we want to do is basically cut this chicken breast in half. That's going to give us two smaller pieces. We can put the chicken breast in the Ziploc bag, seal it, and then we can pound this for an even, even thickness. The reason we want an even thickness is so that all of your chicken cooks at the same time. Give that a little bit of a pound. You don't have to go crazy, you just want to make sure that it's even throughout. If you don't have a meat mallet, you can actually use a pan and pound it out. We're going to turn our pan on to about medium heat. So one of the biggest crimes in a kitchen is starting off your food in a cold pan. You need to heat up the pan, that's going to give you the best sear and the best flavor. It's just seasoned with some kosher salt and some black pepper. We're going to season our chicken breast, we're going to dredge it in some all-purpose flour, shake off any of the excess and just lay those aside. Everyone loves butter, but the problem with butter when you're trying to brown something is that it burns very easily. So we're going to use a little bit of this butter. And we're also going to add some extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil keeps it from burning. And we're going to go right in with our chicken breast. We're just making um, a nice brown crust on each side of the chicken breast. It should only take about two minutes per side. It's not fully cooked, but it's browned on both sides. What we want to do is transfer that to a separate plate. We're going to start building our sauce in this pan. We're going to add some cremini mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms are basically baby portobello mushrooms. So when you see those big caps, they started off as a little, a little mushroom like that. We're also gonna add some red onion and some garlic, but we're gonna let these cook a little bit before we do that. Two cloves of garlic per person. What I like to do, take the flat side of your knife and just push down on the garlic and run your knife through it. And it basically minces as you're cutting. We're going to check our mushrooms here, definitely getting caramelized. When you start to see that color develop and the mushroom shrinking in size, we can start adding our garlic and our red onion. We're going to let this further develop the flavors. We got about a cup of marsala wine. And that is the sound you want to hear. At this point, we're going to add a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. Thyme adds that nice herbaceous flavor. So our wine has reduced. There's not much left in the pan. This is when we're going to add our stock to it. We made this stock. It's a veal stock. And we're going to add about two cups. starting to thicken up a lot. And this is where we're gonna add our chicken breast back into this. The chicken breast has flour on it and that's going to thicken the sausage. This is where your chicken will finish cooking. At this point, we're gonna add a little bit more richness and add about a tablespoon of butter. But definitely finish with a pat of butter. Really adds that richness to it. A little salt. I always use kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper. We are going to plate this chicken marsala. We're going to spoon some of these mushrooms on top, add some of this great sauce. You can serve this with rice. You can serve it with pasta. Add our beautiful fresh parsley. Chef Ben's chicken marsala. A little taste of Italy. You can even do it vegan. You can use tofu or a vegan chicken cutlet. Make sure you follow us on all our social media sites. And if you do decide to make this dish, please up upload a picture so we can all see what you did. Stay safe, take care, thank you.